Nikki said, baby, I'd give up anything to travel inside your mind. But in this video, we're gonna give you everything from Nikki's luxurious lifestyle to her true motives in the music industry by traveling inside her mansion. This is Nikki Zafania lifestyle and net worth. Who's Nikki? She started by creating covers and original songs on YouTube, but now she's blowing up speakers all over the globe. Nikki Zafania, also known as Nikki, is an insanely talented Indonesian singer, songwriter, and record producer. Well, maybe you probably already knew that, so let's turn back the hands of time and zip straight back to where it all started for Nikki. This is her early life. On January 24th, 1999, in Jakarta, Indonesia, she got her high school diploma from Sekola Pelita Harapan Lipo Village, then snapped snagged a scholarship to get her groove on with music at Lipscomb University, a Christian liberal arts college in Nashville, Tennessee. Nikki's life might have looked pretty typical at first glance, but Nikki was all about that bass and treble from day one because at just nine years old, she's teaching herself to play the guitar. She was cranking up the volume on 90s music, R&B, and hip hop, all while her mom was belting out gospel tunes in church. Well, you gotta take a look at Nikki's NZ24 YouTube account. It's chock full of soulful, genuine tracks that are like an open diary on dreams, love, and the experience of growing up. While the music was the beat of Nikki's heart, she never dreamt it could become her 9 to 5. And if you asked her back in the day, she could have told you that being a pro singer or a celebrity was about as likely as pigs having wings. So she was all geared up to go to college, then nab herself a real job. But two semesters in, she felt the rhythm of her calling, loud and unmistakable. Nikki's heart pounding like a drum solo. She called her dad to tell him that she was dropping out of college and signed a contract with 88 Rising. And now, Nikki looks back and says, the trajectory of my life completely pivoted at that point. It took a lot of conversation with my dad, but now he's very proud and fully supportive. What is Nikki Zafania famous for? Well, at the age of 15, Nikki warmed up the stage for Taylor Swift in Jakarta, and also she was ruling her YouTube channel with 40,000 K plus subscribers by dropping original tracks and cover songs that were pure fire, like ballads Polaroid Boy and Anaheim. And she said to her friends, it's like winning a lottery if one of my songs ended up on the 88 Rising channel. Well, she had one out of 13 million chances to hit the lotto jackpot, so fate decided to make her single See You Never and I Like You to be listed on 88 Rising channel. Now, fast forward a bit after dropping an EP, Zephyr, in 2018 and two smashing studio albums, Moonchild in 2020 and Nicole in 2022, and a boatload of singles, Nikki is all about that constant self-discovery vibe. It's inevitable that you're gonna keep growing, she explains. There's no ideal destination because I really enjoy learning and personally, I don't like to be satisfied with the status quo. I recently rewatched Kung Fu Panda, it's so good, and there are so many nuggets of wisdom in that movie. There's this quote, if you only do what you can do, you'll never be more than what you are now. Discomfort is growth, and I feel the need to push myself to keep learning. Today, Nikki's music style is all about being organic and getting back to her roots. She's super into her song, Backburner, right now, and she said, I'm not feeling the heartbroken lyrics so much anymore, but the music, that's my jam. I never get tired of it. And as of 2023, one of her tracks, Summertime, made it to the soundtrack for the film Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. And that's pretty epic, don't you think? Well, people love her pop and R&B fusion so much, they've crowned her the internet's favorite R&B princess. And we gotta say, she wears that title pretty darn well. But wearing that crown is just the tip of the iceberg because Nikki's mission is to empower and encourage young Asian artists. Yes, she's got a mission to empower fellow Asian and African Americans through her bomb beats and powerful lyrics. So while Nikki is standing in front of over 10,000 fans at her first ever Head in the Clouds Festival in LA's historic state park, she's aiming to empower young Asian artists who aren't getting the spotlight they deserve in the American music scene by saying, as an Asian female, I don't take this stage for granted. I hope that you all feel heard, understood, and most importantly, represented today. But despite aiming to empower Asian artists, Nikki's heart also is seeking for her relationship. For the past four years, she's been dating Jacob Ray, her fellow musician, and she refers to him as her grounding force. And actually, with a cheeky laugh, Nikki said, it's really cool to be in a relationship that is healthy, she continued. Up until now, it's not something I've experienced in my life. It's really interesting though, because for me, songs usually come from a place of needing to express themselves when I'm feeling unseen or unheard. Now that I'm in a relationship where I do feel seen and heard, there tends to be less talk about that in the songs, which I say is a complete blessing. But at the same time, artistically, it's a challenge because I'm not heartbroken anymore. 
However, as for wedding bells and plans for having a baby, they're keeping their cards close to their chest. But Nikki's taste for luxury cars? She isn't shy about flaunting her sweet rides on social media. <laughs> What is the net worth of Nikki Zifania? Well, Nikki lives it up in a fabulous house in the United States, and it's a sight to behold. She's got a knack for adding personal touches here and there, turning her bedroom into an artsy paradise, complete with prints, paintings, and hey, even her own artwork. And if we look at her living room, she's turned it into a cozy haven with comfy couches and a unique vibe that screams Nikki. Now, with her stunning voice, stellar social media presence, and unstoppable talent, it's no surprise that Nikki's raking in the big bucks. She's got her fingers in many pies, with earnings from her music career, brand endorsements, YouTube promotions, and more. So what's the big number? As of 2023, our girl's net worth is estimated to be around a cool five to seven million. And just like her wallet full of cash, there is more to Nikki than meets the eye. You won't believe these lesser known facts about her, so keep watching while eating pisang goreng. Nikki is a food addict. You can practically see the spark in her eyes when she dives into stories about her all-time comfort foods, pisang goreng. No sooner than her feet hit the tamarack back in Jakarta, she's all like, where's my pisang goreng at? And if she's not asking for that, bet your boots she's looking for indomie. But food is not just her fuel, it's more like the main event. Because growing up in Asia, food isn't just what's for dinner, it's life, it's culture, it's everything. It's the soul of the party and pretty much where the heart is. And when the homesickness hits or when she's got that itch for something familiar, Nikki's all over it. She's one of those people who's just as happy in the kitchen as she is on stage, freely confessing that she's kind of domesticated. Whether it's tending to her lush garden or playing chef in the kitchen, this girl knows how to keep herself busy. But more importantly, she knows how to keep things oh so tasty. But just like slicing an onion while directly looking at it, as a singer-songwriter, Nikki faced challenges too. Here's the onion for you. Nikki spills, being a public figure can be difficult if you don't love the limelight, especially when you're under it all the time. I don't think it's singular to me. I think a lot of artists feel that way, but I wrestle with it a lot, she continued. When I'm writing and producing music, I'm reminded of why I do this. When I perform, I try to overcome whatever I'm feeling with the reminder that music is greater than myself. It's a language that universally connects people all over the world, no matter what they're going through. Not everybody gets to stand on a stage, play their songs, and have a crowd sing it back to them. So I try to enjoy it and trick my brain that I'm really excited and it ends up happening. It's not all about her though. Nikki's a huge fan of fellow artists like Yuna, Biba Doobie, and Sam Rui from Singapore. And she's got a soft spot for boosting young Asian talent worldwide. She tells us, just by being here, doing my thing, and creating music that's true to me, I believe I can make a difference. Difference. Staying authentic, that's my motto, and I really think it makes people feel less alone.